gift-wrapped-up haul for you. I've got some some beauty products, just a couple, and then lots of randomness as usual. And I've actually got a few clothing pieces, but I might actually save that for a separate video because now that I am fully packed into a suitcase, um, most of my wardrobe just fits into a mid-sized suitcase that I might do a concentrated video or series on what I'm doing to narrow down into my capsule wardrobe. And the new pieces that I purchased are going to be some new pieces for this fall and winter and replacements for some older things that I've just needed to uh, get rid of and just get new things of. So I'm just gonna pick randomly from what I've got here. Three candles. Um, I think they were on sale at Bath and & Body and just wanted to try out the mini mason jar candles. This one is Blackberry Bramble Tea and I actually got two of them. They smell like Christmas to me. It smells like a spiced, like a spiced berry almost. I really like it. It reminds me of Christmas though. I think it's supposed to be a fall candle. I just am obsessed with Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. And so I thought maybe burning this because it's a fall candle, um, it'll kind of just prep me for the holiday season. This is bourbon butterscotch. Out of this line, they had the sale going on for the three mini mason jar candles, but they didn't have too much of a selection. This was the only other one that really appealed to me. Like a warm caramel sort of butterscotch scent. I thought that would be a nice fall candle to burn. Uh, new sunglasses. I needed a black pair because the only ones that I have are my brown pair from Banana Republic and it's hard for me to find sunglasses because I have such a flat bridge of my nose here and so I needed something that was just wider right here and I thought these just had such a cool side detail very much like the ones that I've seen in the magazines of some designer brand like maybe Dior I think and so that's what they look like there and they fit my face pretty well and one thing that I do that's kind of silly but just it's just how it fits on my face is I have to smile and then if my cheeks tend to push up against the lens on the inside I know they won't work because that way uh, I know that my makeup's not going to rub off on the inside of the lens, but this one seems to fit pretty well. So I got this. Didn't get it from anywhere special. I usually just go to like the stands at the mall and pay like 20 bucks for a pair or something like that just because for me, sunglasses, I don't need to buy a designer or high quality of because either they always slip off my head, they drop, scratch. I don't need to pay that much for it. This one, it was to kind of help me organize my jewelry in the event of my move to Portland. I recently sold my jewelry chest, and I mean it was a jewelry chest that came up to my chest right here, had the top fold out, had five drawers on the middle, and then the sides folded out to reveal like little hooks for jewelry, your standard jewelry chest. I wasn't utilizing that space. I didn't need that space. I was just hoarding lots of kind of cheapy jewelry. Most of the time I didn't wear because it was more of just a, sort of like a trend thing that I just got caught into. I'm really trying to create a capsule jewelry wardrobe as well as a clothing wardrobe. And so in the event of the move, I needed something a little bit easier for me to pack my jewelry, to see it. So I decided to pick this up at Target. It's by Threshold. The Hanging Jewelry Organizer. It's got clear pockets and it comes with a little case. So that's what it looks like in the picture. Here's what it looks like. It's got the little hook so you can hang it in your... Uh, just hang it anywhere. On the door, in your closet. It's got all clear pockets. Just a few little Velcro hooks for necklaces goes all the way down and then this clips into the smaller travel pouch which I thought was very handy. 
And it's also double sided so you can use the other side for jewelry, things like that, watches. As you can see most of my jewelry doesn't really fit in here. I've got a lot more nicer pieces. I keep all my costume jewelry here. Maybe things like that I use for work. Mostly here. Um, and then I do have a small like little case for jewelry that I will eventually just transfer everything from there into this to store everything and I like that I can see everything so I know that I'm not going to overfill the pouch I'm certainly not going to use both sides and just fill it up I just realized I really don't wear that much jewelry all at the same time I'm not one to over accessorize I really like classic pieces that go well and I do have a lot of nicer pieces that I want to start using more on a daily basis. So I'm not buying just trendy pieces to wear every season. And I really want to make sure that I use those nicer pieces. So this is a great way for me to see everything. Just to give you a look, this is what the travel pouch looks like. And then it's got two little ties at the end for you to fold up. Very handy. I got a moleskin notebook. I was really happy about this um, because they're not super expensive notebooks but they're not inexpensive either but they're high quality. I love that it comes with the little band to keep everything in in case you do fold things in or slip tickets and memorabilia in there. They make for great travel journals. I love this kind of handheld size. When I went to Barnes & Noble, I had 20% off coupon. I'm a member, so that's additional 10% off. But they were also on sale for 30% off Moleskin notebooks. And I just couldn't resist. I just needed to pick up another one of these because I always have a use for them. This time I got the lined version. And I usually get the black or darker colors just because I don't like, um, you know, just the covers getting dirty. But highly recommend these are great quality notebooks. I recently went uh, camping and we went into, well, Door County was the area that we went camping and never been there before. And I guess there's a lot of a Swedish population in that area. And they had this Swedish Dream Sunflower Facial Soap. I've always seen this at my local like soap and scent store, which is like a really nice uh, boutique beauty store always seen these never thought I'd want to like try it but I was intrigued with it because it's made with primrose oil and it's a facial bar instead of like a cleanser or a liquid what the inside looks like you can kind of see like a little sunflower sorry there's like a high glare <laughs> from the Sun it's kind of been in and out all day and it smells really fresh and then at my soap and scents, the boutique that I mentioned, I stopped in and got the Pre de Provence 20% uh, Shea Butter Dry Skin Hand Cream. I know this has phenoxyethanol and lots of ethanol sort of ingredients, but I really love this brand for Shea Butter. And I have found that so far, the natural hand creams that I have tried aren't really moisturizing my hands. I find my hands are a lot drier and I'm getting like drier cuticles and kind of like that broken skin that you usually get around your cuticles during the winter time. I really hate that. Right now I'm trying to use up the 100% pure lavender hand butter. Not too much of a fan of it just because like I said, it just doesn't feel like it's absorbing into my skin. My skin doesn't feel moisturized after using it. So I decided to just pick this up for now and continue doing my research for the perfect hand cream because I'm so used to just the quality of like Crabtree and Evelyn's hand therapy which is thick, creamy, moisturizing and I've never tried the hand cream of this. I usually just buy the 100% pure shea butter but I'm pretty sure this is gonna work pretty well. And lastly, I've got something from Crate and Barrel. Not lastly, actually, I've got a few more things. Uh, oh, they wrapped it 
pretty wow, considering that this stuff really isn't that breakable, but that's the, th that's the nice thing about Crate and Barrel is if you do buy something fragile, they wrap it pretty well. Uh, they had empty washi tape in red polka dots that were on sale, so I decided to pick up one. I just like washi tape. It's great for kind of decorating cards and pen pal letters, things like that. If you've watched my previous videos, I am the crazy bunny lady. I love bunnies. They're just kind of the thing that I like to collect. And so they had this on the clearance rack. It's just for tea lights, but I might actually use it for just keeping rings in uh, on my vanity or something. But I just thought that was really cute. Um, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's pretty hefty. So got that. And then, well, my whole purpose was to go in there to use up a gift card because I had like $2 left on it. And so I found this. This was rather unique. It is printed to look like an old-fashioned book, old-fashioned bound. And according to this on the back, it says a B6 size rough notebook diary. Um, just like an antique book, a rough note gives you a nostalgic feeling unlike mass-produced notebooks. The edge of each page she intentionally has uneven finish. This makes your very own special book. I think it's a Japanese brand, but um, because there's lots of Japanese writing on here. And sure enough, the edges are beautifully uneven. I love that. And it's just a notebook with plain paper and then eventually just graph paper and then lined paper. And I thought that was so fun. I love notebooks. I use them for all sorts of reasons. I doodle, I write stories, blog ideas, things like that. So that's um, pretty a fun item that I picked up at Crate and Barrel. At my co-op, I found the Shakai All Natural Hand and Body Lotion and Honeysuckle. I needed a body cream because I used up my Body Shop body butter and pretty much all the lotions that I've gotten in the house aside from a Bath and Body tube of the Amber Blush. But I needed something that was non greasy because I did recently buy, not recently, a couple months ago, buy body bars and those work really well, especially after shaving. Um, they sit on the skin beautifully, but for your hands I feel like they are a little bit greasy or oily, I should say. Not that that bothers me, but I do tend to read at night and if I'm handling paper, books, things like that, I don't want those uh, oily prints to show up on my books and so I wanted something that just didn't have that sort of feeling on my hands so I might just use this for my hands at night mostly and use the body bars during the day on my body and skin and then and this is gonna be the last of it I promise sorry for the long video went to one of my uh, local like garden shops and I picked up um, this is by Adagio Tea the glass cup and saucer I'm not going to take it out of the box um, just to show you but that's what I got really large glass I think it's like 16 ounces or something um, but I just wanted to have I just thought it would be fun to have like a glass cup and saucer for tea and they were both 50% off, so I decided to get the teapot to go with it. Big reason why I wanted to get the teapot was, oh, here's the main picture, is because I needed tea bags. But I thought maybe it's just so wasteful to constantly just use a disposable tea bag, albeit that it's unbleached and you can biodegrade it. I thought, wouldn't it be nice to just get a tea filter? And I do have... A box of flowering tea so it's just hand-sewn flower blossoms that when you put it in water it actually blooms and I wanted a clear teapot for me to be able to see that in action so we decided to pick up a clear teapot to go with the clear glass teacup and this comes with a filter that actually slips out so I can use that filter in a cup or a mug and so therefore I'm not wasting the tea bags and then this way I can use it to make just one cup or a whole pot of tea. Aside from this, 
my only other teapot would be the teapot that I have that comes in my tea set. So I'm not being overly excessive with my teapots either. So I think this will last me quite a long time. It says it's dishwasher safe, heat resistant, and it's made out of oral silicate glass. So I don't know what that means, but maybe it's just a sturdier glass than it is uh, regular glassware. As always, I know these are just kind of random collective hauls. I kind of did some retail damage this month just because um, I'd mentioned a possible house sale on this house. Well, that fell through, and we had spent two and a, two and a half months working with the buyers on this, and it just completely fell through. So this was an example of me just kind of... I didn't buy all of this at once, but there was definitely some retail therapy this month for just a few things. And mostly it was just the clothing items, but I did talk myself out of mindlessly shopping after we heard the news about the house sale. And I thought that that was my progression into not thinking about shopping as a way of stress relief, which I thought was a good lesson. I thought that was definitely improvement because I used to, if I was stressed, tired, something like that, I would just go out and shop. And I was able to talk myself down and go through the list of things that I did have for me that I wanted to buy that I've thoughtfully put down on a list. So, and I did end up getting a few of those things. And the teapot was one of them and, you know, a lotion that wasn't greasy on the hands. I genuinely had a thoughtful process of buying things this month um, in my time of stress shopping, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, I'm sorry if it doesn't, but just to kind of report to you that I think having a list, a thoughtfully put together list of things that you do want to buy, that if you do get into that moment where you're just, I need to shop, I just want to buy something, instant gratification, having that list to refer to would be a great thing because then you can see that if you are going to spend the money, you might as well get something that you have wanted for a long time, uh, that you've wanted to save up for, or that you just have needed to get and you've been putting off. So... And for some of those items here today, that was it. So I'm pretty happy about that. Please subscribe if you want to check out more of these videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.